Hello, this is Daniel Plays. My name is Daniel, and in this video, we're going to be installing Sodium for Minecraft 1.16.5. So I got a couple of questions over on Discord, over on YouTube about Sodium and how to install it for Minecraft 1.16.5. Now it can be a little bit tricky because it's not a Forge mod, but a Fabric mod. And also I need to tell you guys that it's not compatible with stuff like Optifine. You can't use Sodium with shaders, at least not yet. Maybe it will be added, but probably not. So you will lose a couple of functions that you do get with Optifine, but Sodium is supposed to actually optimize Minecraft way better and way more than Optifine. So as per usual, before we get started, if you're into Minecraft videos like this one, then be sure to give it a thumbs up. I would sincerely appreciate that. Of course, if you really enjoy this type of content, which you just may, then of course, feel free to hit that big red subscribe button. And of course, if you're looking for a good and reliable Minecraft server host, then be sure to check out Apex Minecraft Hosting. A link to them will be down in the description. If you do use that link, I'll earn a small commission and you will support the channel if you do buy a server. So without further ado, here's how to install Sodium for Minecraft 1.16.5. So the first thing to do is to install Fabric, which is pretty easy. Now for Sodium, you do not need Fabric API, so that's really easy. We can just install Fabric without Fabric API, which will make it easier to install. And then after that, once Fabric is installed for Minecraft 1.16.5, we're going to install Sodium and see if it actually works. So you want to come over to fabricmc.net. I will put a link down below in the description to every single link or website that I use for this tutorial. So once you're over on fabricmc.net, you want to find this word that says here. You can actually click that. It's not very visible, but here it is. Now, if you're on Windows, just make it easy on yourself and click this windows.exe. If you're on any other operating system, you might want to go with download installer and you will need Java for that. If you do not have Java yet, install Java and then run this installer. I'm on Windows and most of you are too, so we are going to use the .exe one, but it's going to look and work the exact same way. Now, once it's downloaded, just click it. It should open this installer. It should be set to the correct settings by default. Make sure create profile is selected and just click install. It will usually just take one or two seconds. If it takes a little longer, that's okay. As long as this appears once it's done, fabric loader, well, this version has successfully been installed. Just click okay, close the installer. And now what we can do is actually come over to Minecraft and launch it. Well, not Minecraft just yet, but just the Minecraft launcher. And as you can see, we now have a fabric loader right here. So one other thing that I like to do to make Minecraft run even better is go over to installations right here, come over to fabric loader, and then click edit under these three dots right here. And then if you scroll down and click more options, you will get this JVM arguments line that actually specifies how much RAM is allocated to Minecraft. Now, if you have four gigabytes of RAM, just leave it at 2G. If you have eight gigabytes of RAM, you can actually increase this all the way up to 4G. If you have anything beyond that, I would go with 6G, but anything beyond that you won't really notice because, you know, Minecraft on its own isn't that taxing on the system. It doesn't really need six gigabytes of RAM, but 4G will really help. I'm actually gonna increase it to six gigabytes because I have more than that in my system. So let's just click save right here. And now if we launch Fabric Loader, we will be playing Minecraft with extra RAM, but we're not gonna play it just yet because we need to download and install Sodium. So come back to your browser or just use the link down below in the description. A quick Google search for Sodium will also work. Just click this first link to CurseForge right here and you will find yourself on this page. It will say 1.16.5 here, so you know it will work with 1.16.5. The file name, however, may say 1.16.3 because those versions are identical. So you just scroll down to recent files here, click the one that says 1.16.3 or newer, and then just click this download icon right here. You'll have to wait five seconds for it to actually start downloading. And because this is a .jar file, you will need to click keep because Chrome will give you this warning. Now go into the search bar type in percent app data percent hit enter and now you'll see a couple of folders for me there's barely any folders because this is a new account just click dot minecraft right click in here if you don't have a mods folder just yet and create a new folder called mods all lowercase what you're going to do next is actually drag sodium into the mods folder right here this is pretty easy should work. Now, if you actually don't know how to do this and you don't want to 
make it this complicated. What you can do is launch Minecraft with Fabric Mod Loader first, because what it will do, it will actually create the mods folder for you. And then once you come back to dot Minecraft right here, it will already be there. You just have to drag in sodium and that'll be it. But I can actually tell you, we have now successfully installed sodium for Minecraft 1.16.5. Now, of course, you wanna see whether it actually works. So what we're gonna do is actually click play here and you will get this warning if you play a modded version of Minecraft for the first time. It will say something like you're about to play uh, a modified version. You just click, I understand the risks because there aren't really any risks. And then you click play. Don't worry, this is just a new warning. Um, it's the same as before. You can just play Minecraft with stuff like Fabric Forge or Optifine, stuff like that. Don't worry about it. You should be good if you actually followed all the steps that I showed you in this video. So here we are, Minecraft 1.60.5. As you can see in the bottom left corner, it says Minecraft 1.60.5 slash Fabric Modded, which is perfect because that means we actually do have Fabric. Now to actually check whether we have Sodium installed, what we're going to do is actually hop into a single player world and see if the settings appear. So here we are in a new Minecraft 1.60.5 world. And if we actually hit escape and go into the game menu and then click options, video settings, we should now see a new type of menu, which actually contains similar settings, but a few extra ones as well. So actually, you don't really need to touch any of these. You don't really need to mess with these. Um, some of these can actually be used to optimize stuff like graphics quality. You can set that to fast to actually make it better. And, and the good thing about Sodium is it will actually let you know what the best setting is, what the fastest setting is, and how much it's actually going to affect your performance. As you can see, graphics quality has a high performance impact, which means that if you set this to fancy, you'll get a lot less FPS than when set to fast. So that is just great. Once done, you click apply. That's just great. The settings are going to be applied and you have already increased your FPS by a little bit. Don't worry. You don't need to mess with the settings. You can just leave them alone because Sodium will automatically actually um, add a couple of FPS to Minecraft by just having it installed. So that's great. So that's been it for this video. If this video actually did teach you how to install Sodium for Minecraft 1.16.5 with Fabric, then be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more of this type of content. And of course, as always, I'll just catch you in the next one. See ya.